hi again and if you're new here welcome i'm chrissy here at a little glam a lot of mom today's video is a haul a few books that we've picked up over the last few weeks and some educational ish or educational related things my kids got during christmas just recently we discovered a used bookstore here on the island and so these are the titles we picked up wonder has been on bella's book list for several months and i still remember when my teens read this at about bella's age and it stood as a favorite for a long time masterpiece by elise brooch i mentioned this title in my last video as one of the read alouds we agreed on likely later in spring it's part a mystery some art history and friendship between a bug and a boy Noah is reading the Magic Treehouse series and we found several titles of the series at this used bookstore. And two extraordinary finds, we found two titles to complete our collection of two book series that we love. Bella adores the Hartwood Hotel books and was missing number four, Home Again. In this summer title, everyone at the Hartwood Hotel is in a flurry, getting ready for Miss Prickle's wedding to Mr. Quilson. Meanwhile, a new mouse guest comes to stay. Now, I am most excited for this find, the second book to Grace Lynn's trilogy of adventure slash mystery books inspired by Chinese folklore. This is our next read aloud and we're all super excited for it and to have the complete trilogy. These are on a separate stack because we actually found these at a free little library. If you don't know about it, look it up use it as a resource, donate to it. It's a wonderful concept. So I also mentioned a dog's porpoise in my last video. Bella is a little more than halfway done with this animal adventure about a lost dog, a porpoise, and a girl who helps them find their way. Scholastic rates this as a fifth grader reader. Next is my other half, Homeward Bound meets Finding Nemo in this heartfelt story about a brave sea otter and a rambunctious puppy who team up to find their way home. And Scholastic rates this one as a third to seventh grade reader. Our Luna Girl was gifted this stunning book. It says, this anthology of animal stories brings together the most loved animal themed fables, myths, and legends, 50 stories from around the world. We love folklore already and paired with stunning illustrations like these, we have just been completely captivated by this book. We're making our way through it in the mornings during opening activities. All of the kids asked for several art related supplies for Christmas. The kids are really excited about these dual tip permanent markers. I believe there are 82 markers in this case, a variety of colors. The kids use these every day, have been using them every day all month long, and they're still like brand new. So each of the young kids also got uh, one of their own of these large pencil cases. I believe each one can hold up to 200 colored pencils, less markers. Uh, the purpose of these cases is for on the go. We have basketball games and park days and nature class and they're always lugging sketch pads and all sorts of little bags with supplies. So my plan is to fill these strictly with on the go supplies colored pencils, a glue stick, and scissors, so that way we're not taking from our daily stash of supplies, and also the kids aren't packing like last minute as I'm already headed out the door. We could never have enough drawing boards, so I picked up a few of these oversized clipboards that can be used as drawing boards from Hobby Lobby. We could use it indoors for drawing, and it also has a handle and this band around it, uh, perfect for taking it outdoors for our outdoor activities. So you guys might know already that my family loves the Moleskin brand for notebooks. Well, I should say my husband, myself, and my teens because moleskin is not necessary for the young ones just yet. Uh, they're pricey, but they're just such good quality paper and covers. Durable for throwing in bags, taking outdoors, 
for living in pockets of pants. They don't fall apart at the seam and they don't crease. They're sleek, this minimal look. So I asked for a small one to use as my nature journal and you may have seen that in my day in the life video where I shared a haul of my Christmas gifts. But I picked up these field pocket note pads for my teen son. My son doesn't use planners. I've bought different types for him and he just won't use them. He's a super simple guy, but he does have a lot going on right now. He's doing college and high school, volunteering, sports, and so we have weekly sync meetings and he's just writing things down on loose paper. So I think that this will be a happy medium where he can jot notes and dates down. It's not necessary, but you can use the notepad as an insert in this nice leather cover that I picked up for him. I think this is going to be the one that works for him. It's practical, it's small, it's minimal, no frills, and that's just the type of guy that he is. My teen daughter also needed something for her on-campus days, and she needed a new bag, and she did ask for a messenger-style bag. Ailani's also pretty particular about material. She usually prefers canvas or cotton. She likes to embellish her bags with pins and patches as well. So my first observation is the stitching. In the reviews, I made sure to look for this box X stitch. That is key for durability. This stitch style is commonly used in reinforcement for outdoor gear. Uh, second observation, it's also super spacious, lots of pockets, and she loves the color yellow. Ailani's Christmas wish list was one thing, and it was frames or trays uh, to organize her pressed flowers and her seashells and rocks and bugs. You get it, her nature collection. Uh, so this wooden compartment box is from Amazon. And she wanted one that's not for hanging, that just sits nicely on her shelves and with a door and a latch to keep out the dust. To be honest, the wood isn't the greatest quality. The uh, door or the hinge is not glass, it's plexiglass but for the price, it will store a lot of her finds nicely. I've mentioned before that entomology frames and boxes are super pricey, so this was just a happy medium. She's thinking about hand painting it to add her touch to it. Now this next piece is my absolute favorite. It's an antique printer's tray. We actually have two of them my sister is an avid antiquer and she was able to source a few of these for us and she gifted one uh, to ailani so this is real wood it's super heavy and it's just perfect for holding so many small nature treasures my favorite gift under the tree this year by far we love building marble runs. Uh, we usually do it with various Grimm's pieces and blocks and then the large Grimm's marbles, and it's a blast. But lately, my Bella has had a big interest in actual marbles. I don't know if it's a developmental thing of um, observation and fine motor manipulation, but just focusing on these small objects. She's really into that. And so my grandparents gifted us this Cuadrilla marble set by Hape Toys. I believe this set uh, is called the race to finish it's a 24 piece set with 30 marbles and we've enjoyed it so much i picked up uh, the hip quadrilla vertical set which is a larger set this quadrilla line is a kinetic marble run each of the seven different color blocks has a different function there is a pamphlet included with each set uh, that includes several build tutorials and more. There's also an app for even more builds. All the quadrilla sets are made with birch wood. All the finishes are non-toxic. The Vertigo set has a mix of pieces for spins and drops and seesaws and speed. All the sets combine with each other for expanding and unique builds and that's something that I was looking for in a set. I don't want it to end with just a few possibilities. The kids are building their critical thinking skills and logic and it's just super fun. It's also heirloom quality which makes the price worth it. I do have one disclaimer and it's that the pieces don't click together. Like most of the plastic marble runs, it's more like building and stacking blocks and ramps, actually very similar to building Grimm's marble runs. 
So it can be very easy for little ones to knock over an epic build of an older sibling. I thought that was super important to put out there. If you do have young children and you're gifting this to one of your older children, you might want to encourage them to build high up on a table. I almost left out this clock. I had to reset the filming table and insert this clip as you can see by my change in nail polish. But I had to show this toy and material that Luna was gifted by a friend because she's loving it. This is the Melissa and Doug Turn and Tell Wooden Analog Clock. Included is a small pamphlet with activity suggestions. It also includes double-sided cards for matching games. The hands rotate with a gentle clicking motion, and when you move each hand, the respective digits move, marking off the hour or minutes as they go in this little window. The clock has the large red hour numbers to match the hour hand, and the hour numbers on the flashcards are red as well. The same with the blue minute numbers and the minute hand. There are so many ways that we use this, uh, just the basic, the number order or the sequencing, 1 through 12, and then also 1 through 60 with the minute numbers. There's number identification, matching, and telling time, of course. Eventually, we'll move on to counting by fives. This is the only math material that Luna is interested in at the moment, and we're rolling with it. Alright guys, that wraps up this haul. It was a small one, but in my humble opinion, a good one. I did this video last year post Christmas and so many of you enjoyed it and some of you requested one for this year. So here you go. Let me know that you did enjoy this video by giving it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for your love.